Okay, today I'm going to show you how I make a driver's uh, cockpit for a little uh, Xbox, or you can do it for a PlayStation or whatever. Spending as little money as possible. Now I had this car seat lying around for ages in the shed. So I'm going to use that. Now I've already started, but on the base of it, this was really rusty, so I've given it some treatment. Now I'm going to paint it black before I start making up uh, the, all the brackets and stuff. Anytime you're building something, doesn't matter what it is, you always got to start at the bottom. So I'm going to make the frame where the, the uh, seat is going to sit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the measurements off a car as in relation to the steering wheel and the pedal placement. And this is the car I'll be taking the measurements off, an Alpha 147. So first thing we'll do, we'll get the, uh, the base frame made up. And I'm using just steel that was thrown out. You don't have to be. I can go out and buy one for $150, but anyone can do that. I'm going to get parts of an old trampoline that people uh, threw out at council cleanup. And I'll grab all the steel, so that'll come in handy. And I'm going to make the frame, and I'll show you how I do that. Stay tuned. Okay, the base of the seat's all painted and dry now. This looks a bit better than that crusty, rusty stuff that was there. Now we're going to assemble the frame. Now these are the two pieces we're going to use. Like I said, it's out of an old uh, trampoline frame that we uh, picked up from Council Pickup. And what I'm going to do is join that together like that to make like a rectangle section. And this tube here I'm going to cut two pieces about this big because that'll go over there. And then I can weld it together. It'll be nice and straight and nice and strong. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so what I've done, I've cut two pieces here. That's going to join our two halves of the frame together. Uh, and I've taken the... It's got some really light powder coating on it. And when you're doing any welding, the cleaner you've got the, uh, the metal that you're welding, the better the weld becomes. And I'll just ground that powder coating off there because that's going to fit in there. I'll so show you how that fits in there. And I'm going to weld that there. Then the other frame there goes in there and join it all together. And all I used was the, uh, the cutoff wheel to cut that, cut the tubing. And then the flapper wheel just to uh, grind that off. Now I'm going to weld it. And with that, that'll hold it all nice and square. And if I lay it flat on the concrete, it won't get bent. I'll just give it a few little tacks first, and then I'll weld it all the way around. It'll look nice and neat. And I'll show you how that looks. Okay, we're about to start welding, and this is what we've got so far. There's the frame laying flat on the concrete. And you can see the little... Oh, and she focuses there. Little tubes are in place. It's all ground, and I'm going to weld up that little... Uh, bit right there, then maybe grind a flush, that looks really good, and uh, just going to use a MIG welder, which is there, just set on a, a really low setting, because this tube is very thin, and also I use the, uh, the gasless wire, so I don't have to worry about buying the, uh, the bottle, renting, whatever you've got to do with the gas, and it comes out pretty good, I'll show you when I'm finished. Okay, the frames are welded up now with the MIG welder. That's the top one, and that's the bottom one. And she's pretty square. So what I'm going to do now is with the flapper wheel, I'm going to smooth that off. And there is a saying in welding circles, that if you're not a good uh, welder, make sure you're a good grinder. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, all the welds are ground. That's that one. one there now if you have a look it's got it's a little bit edgy where, where the the grind is and I'll give you a little tip this one here so that's all nice and rounded how you achieve that you can get a like a flat file and when you're filing go up and down like in a seesaw pattern like that and that'll get rid of all those the squared off edges. I don't know if you can see that on there. Let's have a look at this. 
Anyway, it'll make it look like that. And then also just finished it off with a bit of uh, emery cloth. Just run like that and keep working like that. Get it as smooth as you want. It's going to get painted, but at least it'll look neat and it doesn't look like it's... Uh, that it used to be three pieces. Uh, next thing we're going to do is mount the seat on the frame. Okay, so I've got the seat just mocked up there, roughly where it's going to go. I'm going to leave the tracks in it so you can adjust the seat. Now I've got that in the rearmost position. And as you can see, there's a little bit of overhang there so that if you've got it in the uh, fully extended position, you're not going to tip the thing over with the weight there. Now what I think I'll do, I'll get some uh, uh, pipe and run two pieces, one across there to the other side and one across the back here and weld it in. And we'll see how that goes and then we'll work out the position of the pedals and make up a support for the steering wheel. So far she's looking pretty good. Okay, what I've done, I've got some flat bar and just welded the uh, legs on the bottom of the tracks there. You can see there, I've got to trim them to size. And also over onto the frame to line up with those uh, flat bar pieces. I've welded two uh, bits of uh, rectangular galvanized tube that I had. One piece wasn't long enough. So I don't know if you can see there, but there's a join there that's been ground away. But that'll look alright once it's painted. Now, the angle iron there, I'm going to make some brackets and weld them onto here. Four brackets, one on each one, with holes in it. I'm going to put holes in those little uh, uh, flat bar legs so that the seat can get bolted on and off. I want to mainly do that so that way I can paint it without the seat on there, but then we can always take the seat off if, if ever have to take that off. So now I'll just cut four bits of angle iron with the grinder. Uh, put them in place. And then we'll work on the, the pedal box, which will be at the front there. And then the steering support. Be back in a sec. That's what we're up to. I've made the little angle brackets here to weld onto the frame. Now, I tack welded them together so I could drill the hole there. Now, I'm going to leave that bolted together while I tack them onto the, the frame down there. And then I'll unbolt them and then we can paint it all up. Now, as you can see, I've taken the, uh, the frame off the seat base, which I should have done in the first place. Because some of these brackets were a little bit bent, so I had to heat them up with the oxy and uh, straighten them up. And while I was using the oxy, I accidentally hit the bottom of the seat. So I had a bit of an accident. Lucky, I've got another seat that I can change the base on. But yeah, I should have taken the uh, should have taken the base off to start with. Now I'll just show you how this sits here. Uh, let's start with that. So basically that sits there like that. Over there and there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this here. And once all four of them are welded, I'll get, get it in position. Then I'll take the screws out, take it off and paint it. And then put the other uh, bits of welding brackets and stuff on without the seat on it. So that way it'll uh, protect the, the other base. Okay, the base is in position. I've just tacked the uh, little brackets on. And I've removed the bolts. So now we'll take the frame off. So that way we can weld them up properly and give them a bit of a grind. And because they were bolted together to the frame uh, when I tacked it on, they should stay in uh, in alignment. Okay, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, the seat brackets are welded in place, smoothed off, and ready for painting. Now the next thing we're going to do is get the uh, good seat 
base, bolt it onto the bracket, and assemble the seat on there, just temporarily and bolt it up, so we can work out the position of the, the pedal pad, and then the steering mount. Oh, and there's my foot. Okay, I'll finish with the brackets for the, the seat. Have a look on there. They're all bolted in. Uh, they're just ready for paint now. Now I'm going to mount the uh, the foot pedals. And before I do that, I've got this bit of plywood that I'm just going to put uh, in between the frame rails there. So it'll give it like a floor feeling. And then I'm going to mount the foot pedals. I'm going to screw them onto the board there from underneath. And I've just set that on there and you can see I've marked the outline of where I want that cut. So I'm going to do that. And then attach that to the frame. Okay, I've cut the wood out. And sitting it in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's not quite sitting flush. So I need to trim it a little bit more off with the sander. And what I do, I'm just using this little bit of card for a spacer. And I push that around there. And when it gets caught, like there, I'll just put a little mark there. It needs to come off there. And we'll go on this side here. And when it gets caught, there, so that means that area there needs to come off just a little bit. So we'll sand that bit there, and then we'll try it again until it fits in. And then I'll make up some angle brackets to weld onto the base of that from underneath to secure that, and then I'll secure the pedal board onto the wood. Be right back. Okay, the wooden base for the uh, the cockpit is all cut out. And one thing I noticed is when I was shaping it, the plywood started separating. So what I've done is I've just put in a clamp here with some PVA glue all along this side here. So we'll let that sit for a while. Now we'll go up to the frame. There's the frame, we've got that sitting upside down. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these little, well, these little tabs in there, right across there, you can see there. And then I'm gonna drill holes in that and support the, uh, the wooden floor. Now I didn't have flat bar, but I did have a lot of angle iron. And what I did with the grinder, I just ground it off there and made some uh, locating tabs. So you don't have to go out and buy everything, just use what you got. And it's coming out to, not too bad. Now I'm gonna weld that in place. Um, it's a bit pointless watching me weld, but I'll show you what it looks like when she's uh, all welded up. The support brackets for the, uh, the floor are all welded in place. Now I'll just show you a few little things. I set it up level on the concrete just to make sure the floor will be level. As you can see that that's level. Now to get that, I had to pack that leg up with just some, uh, a little bit of wood and some emery cloth so that it's level. And then to get the spacing, I'll just show you this last one here that I did. Like these blocks of wood, they're the same size, so that's sitting on there. But, I use that, and that little bit of wood, and that, and then I sit the little plate on there. And when I weld it, uh, that little corner there, I did that, but not from the top, from the side there. So what happens is when it heats up, it'll pull that way. Now, just give it a little tack, and as it's pulling away, just hold it like that until the, the weld 
loses its redness. And then I take this other one here again from the side, let it cool off, and then a little one on there. I will weld it right across there. But for now, they're all in place. And I'll just do little stitches at a time. I'll just went weld the underside. There's no need to weld the uh, both sides of it. And then we will uh, do what we'll do then. I think we'll work out the position of the steering wheel because they're waiting for the board to dry with the glue. The ply was, was separating. We can start making up the brackets for the, the steering wheel support. Okay, the welded uh, the brackets are welded in place for the base. Now I've mocked up roughly where I want the uh, steering wheel to be, which is at a good height and stuff. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some tubing to get it to sit at that height. And then we can get rid of the boxes. Yeah, I've just propped that up on the boxes there. Just to get it to the right height. Bolted the seat back on, just temporarily. And once all the framework and everything's done and all the brackets, I'm going to sand it and paint everything so it looks semi-professional. Right, right, let's mock up the, uh, the tubing support for the steering wheel. Okay, so here's the plan I've come up with. Uh, the wooden base here, I'm going to cut that out. Same shape as that. And then I'm going to see if I've got enough of that uh, trampoline tube to loop it around here, around the front, and then down, down along here, and onto there. So you, it won't get in, your, uh, in the way of your legs when you're climbing in and out of the thing. I'll see if I've got the steel together and see if I can mock it up. Okay, here's the uh, the bends and pipe that I'll be using. Let's see if I can explain a bit better. This, how that's positioned there, that's basically how it's going to go, one on one side and one on the other. There's the mount for the steering wheel. Now what I'm going to do, is sort of fashion some bends around there like that, and like that and join it and then weld it onto the the base over there let's do some cutting and grinding okay i've got all the tubes cut and this is basically what's happening this is where the uh, uh the steering uh console is going to mount onto there now i've got these these were all the trampoline frames that i had i've cut them all up now there's a bend there and there's a little there's a tube in there just to sort of help line it up. That's going inside there as well. That's fitting in there. Then they're gonna come around like that. Now pretend that that's the, the base frame of the unit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld this tube onto the, um, the rail and then that fits inside there and then I'll weld that on the thing there. But what I need to do, I wanna do that so that way I can turn the angle to join up to that one and it'll basically kind of look like that like skewed out like that so you'll have plenty of leg room to get in and it should be pretty solid because it's all uh, going to be welded up so I'm going to start uh, the final measurement then tack it all together and see how it looks okay here's the first loop uh, that's where the, uh, the steering is going to mount onto there and there's a bit of a gap there because it drops down uh, You can see there's a little tube inside now. I've just tack welded it all I'm going to take the whole lot of it together To make sure that it's um, It fits before I weld it up and then again on here. I'll weld some little flat brackets on there to bolt this Onto that frame there and then I will bolt the steering console onto that now we'll go on to the next bends before we put it down onto the frame. And uh, again, just tack it all together. Okay, so this is where we're at. The front piece is welded up. Now these two side bits, they're still movable because so I've got to get the angle. Now they're going to go down to this. Now I'll just 
show what I'm going to do here. That's leave there. I'm basically going to put that and weld that onto there. And then when that's welded in place, I'm going to slide that in there. You can see I've still got this angle adjustment here, which I'll get right, and I'll get both of them the same. Now, it's going to come out, it's worked out it's going to come out right to the front. So that's going to be parallel to that. Then it'll just come in at an angle like that. Then there's other tubes. We'll get welded to that. So it'll do like a bit of a like a C shape back to the uh, the steering holder. Now I'll take them in place. If it needs a bit of strengthening, I can put some webbing in it, but hopefully it won't need any. And then once I've got that end bit there welded on, and once I've got that angle right there, I will weld that across there to stop that from turning and trying to eliminate any flex. Okay, I'll put them in position. on As with everything, wherever I've got a weld, I've just taken all the powder coating off. Otherwise, it'll... Uh, It'll just make the weld contaminated. Okay. Okay, this is the end caps. That I'm going to weld to the frame. And then the steering column supports are going. Now, what I'm going to do, just to finish it off, the ends of it, I'm, I've just put this plate on there and I'm going to weld it around so you don't see a big hole there. And all that is, is this tube here. I'll just split that along the seam with the, uh, the grinder, flattened it out, and got all the powder coating off. Now I'm going to fully weld that. First I'm going to cut it, now that it's tacked on, and then fully weld the uh, the outside of it, and then smooth it off so it looks a bit more professional. Okay, this is the end caps. I've tacked the ends of it there, just to hold it in place, and then I've got the little uh, cut-off wheel and just ground it off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a few spots of weld around there and then I'm going to grind these, the original tacks off and then round it all off and that's that one done and that's the other one, same sort of story. And I'll show you what they like when they finish welded and grounded. Okay, I've welded the end caps. And got all the uh, powder coating off there. Now they're going to get positioned about there. So I'm going to weld them onto there. And then when they're welded on, the tube will slide in there. And I'll get that angle right. And we're nearly there. So let's just tack them into place. Okay, so the end caps are tacked in place, and I just use those little triangular magnets here to hold it in place. And we can get out this sun here. That's basically how they look. I've still got to get the angles right with the, uh, the steering tubes before I tack weld them on there. And then when everything looks like it's good, then I'll weld it all up and see if it needs any reinforcing. It might need something across here. Or maybe across down the bottom here. But we'll see once she's all uh, welded in place. Okay, so this is how it's going to sit. The wood's just there just to hold it in place in the right spot. Now you can see I've welded the little the caps in and they're in place. So now I'm going to put these together and mark it there and cut it and then join those two together and I'll tack it and just see how much uh, strength it's got like that and see if it needs any bracing but that's the basic uh, shape of it and then once that's done I'll be sanding it back and getting it ready for paint okay she's all sitting where it's got to be What I did is I measured the center of the uh, the frame there, put that white paint on there. Then I got a spirit level, transferred the muck up up there to the uh, wooden board, and then I measured between these two uh, tubes 
to make sure that that's in the middle. And I did the same on that back frame rail as well and transferred that up to there. Now it's all sitting where it's got to sit. There's just one little angle deviation in the pipes here. You can see that there. And that one there a little bit too. But what I've done is I've got a smaller tube and put it inside. That's tacked together. Now I'm going to go ahead and tack it. And then see how it measures up still. And if it's good, I'm going to fully weld it. Okay, there it is all tacked in place. And it's holding itself up. I've had to remove the polystyrene support because uh, the welding would have just melted it to pieces. I'm going to fully weld that up. Now, first I'll do a few more tacks right around to give it some strength. And then fully weld it. Okay, so it's just all welded up now. And the welds are ground back. I just want to show you something. Don't be discouraged if you're not a good welder. Because like I said before, if you're a good grinder, you can grind it back. And it'll look half decent. Now some of these have got little... Don't know if there's little low spots there, so I'm just going to weld that again and then grind it so it's flush. But just to give you an idea, and also this is really thin tubing, so it's really hard to weld. This is how it looked. I've left one unground. So this is... If it focuses... Hopefully you can see that. It doesn't look very nice. But, you grind it back. Now it should look like that. And like I said, I'm going to fill in the little uh, low spots and then grind them back. Then here I'll put the tabs to hold the, the wooden board here. I may put a little brace between there and there. But it is pretty solid. I don't think any uh, excessive steering will move and it's going to make that flex around. Alright, so now I'll just uh, grind that one smooth now. And then fill in any little uh, little holes. Let's see if I can see the little void in there. There you go. See those little voids there? I'll fill them up and then grind them back again. Oh, she's going to wonky on me. Okay, let's stop it. I've just finished dressing up all the welds. And we have a problem. <laughs> have a look at these uprights. This one. And that one. And look at the angles they're at. The one on the left <laughs> kinks in. And the one on the right is almost straight. Uh, it'll do the job, but I'm not going to be happy with that. I'm going to make some uh, incisions on the tube here and just straighten it up. So that they look the same. That does not look good to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh well, that's what happens. More cutting, more grinding, and some welding. Okay, I've marked the tubes out there where I'm going to cut them. There and there. You can see the kink in that. And I'm going to do it one at a time, and I'm going to weld this piece of tube in place there, so that way they'll both be straight. Out with the grinder. Okay, that looks a lot better. I've cut that crooked bit out, and just uh, tack the new piece in place. Do one at a time so it doesn't disturb the position of the, uh, the mount there. And basically what we've done... We replace that bent tube with a straight piece like that. I'm actually kind of glad that it it was bent because I wasn't real happy of those uh, kinks in the uh, in the tubing. Even if you look at it now, that looks a lot better. Okay, now I'm going to cut the other one, tack it in, and then fully weld it up. Okay, we're all tacked in place now. It's a little more straight up. Now, as you see, like I said, I'm by myself, so I've got to and hold things and weld things. I'm using these little triangle magnets to hold it in place while I tack it. There's one there, one there. 
and also to make sure that this the top of the frame is level with where the seat brackets are I've just used that level there and I've used this um, strap here just to bring it down a little bit and I'll leave that on there until I give it more tacks and then we should be good to weld the little brackets like these ones here to hold the steering wheel wood on um, okay let's go continue welding okay all the welds are ground up and I've just welded the uh, plates in to hold the steering mount uh, next up I'll grind the welds flat and just grind over everything make it all nice and smooth with the flapper wheel and then I'm going to put the boards on the, the plate to mount the motor and the, the floorboard drill the holes out and then when it's drilled I think I'm going to strip all this rubbish powder coating off and start the painting process where we're at I've sanded all the powder coating off the frame it's taken about two hours it's looking a bit better there and all I did was use the little um, sanding disc there it's worn out a whole disc now the only thing I've got to do is uh, I'm gonna put it on casters so that when it's inside the house, it'll uh, be able to move around without getting dragged on the carpet. So a couple more little brackets. And then I'm going to put the boards on and drill them out. And then it'll be ready to paint. Okay, the frame's all stripped. Um, I've got some tubing left over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some uh, corner braces just to stiffen it up a bit and make it look a little bit better. I'll strip them and I'll take them in place and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, there's the frame. All the welding, grinding and sanding are finished. Now, just to make it easy to move around inside and so it's not dragging itself on the carpet, I'll put four caster wheels on it so you can move it around. one in that corner there one in that corner there and the, the front ones I've put them on the inside so something different so all I've got left to do now is drill the holes for the floorboard and the steering uh, control mount and then after the holes are drilled I'm gonna uh, put some clear varnish on the wood and some paint on the frame and then bolt it all together and see how it looks Okay, the uh, plywood board is drilled. And uh, what we're going to do next is uh, paint the wood and paint the frame. And then we're going to bolt everything up and that should be finished. Oh, now we've got to drill some more holes. Uh, some more holes for the steering wheel to mount it from the bottom and the pedal set. I'll make up some templates and put it on the wood and trace it and drill the, uh, the two holes for each one. Okay, I've mounted the boards and I've drilled the holes for the, the mounting of the steering console. Now, to get the location of the holes, right, there's these two holes here. What I did is I made a template just by tracing out the bottom of the, uh, the steering controller. And I marked out there and there where the, the holes were. Then I positioned that on the wood and drilled it out. And I've made another one here for the pedal set. Just to help you line the holes up properly. Now what I did notice, uh, those two holes, I don't think they're going to be enough to hold it on. So on the bottom of the, uh, the console there, there is a mounting bolt that the clamp secures it onto. So it's got three mounting points. Now what I've done is I've got a bit of that, that angle iron, I've just chopped it up and made a bit of flat bar and I'm just going to weld that into there so that, that way that won't move if you get a bit uh, a bit strong on the steering action and then it's ready to paint. Okay, I'm just going to weld that up now. With, I'm just going to tack it in place first and watch I don't uh, melt the console or anything but I need that bolt in there just to get the location right. Okay, we've had some problems. 
<laughs> I've mounted it all up before painting it and the steering wheel wasn't in the middle and the seat was crooked uh, with all the welding and everything because it's not on a jig it had a bit of a twist in it so what I've had to do is put some cuts in it as you can see there and there and there and level it out bring that steering wheel mount into the middle and now I've tacked everything in place I've put a couple of braces there to hold it in place while I'm welding it this time which I should have done in the first place and then when she's all welded up then I'll cut these braces here out of it and grind it up so it'll have a bit of a dog leg in it there on that upright and a little bit one on there it won't be noticeable but yeah I sat in it with the the seat and the steering wheel and the pedals and I just felt crooked rock straight away and I thought nah I want to be sitting in this thing for hours and not feel crooked or anything so I thought I might as well cut it and straighten it up and I'm gonna to have to cut the seat brackets off there as well and just shift it over just a touch just so that everything's lined up a little bit of extra work but it'll be worth it in the end so more grinding and more welding okay so after much cutting and grinding and welding I think we're where we need to be I've just put tape on the center line of the seat on the center line of the steering wheel and the center line of the frame just to make sure everything's lined up and now I'm going to tack weld the brackets in place. I've got them G-clamped at the front there so they're in the right spot. And then uh, once they're all ground back, I'll go ahead with the etch primer and then the black paint and hopefully that'll be it. I've sat in it, everything feels lined up. The steering wheel feels lined up with the, uh, the seat and the pedals, so that's good. More grinding and welding. Okay, all the brackets are welded on for the seats. Everything's ground back. It's all nice and straight. Tomorrow, some etch primer. And if it dries quick enough, we'll paint it black. Okay, so I've put it covered in two coats of etch primer. And then all the little welds just to make them look a bit neater. Some of them had pinholes. Just covered them in spot putty. And I'm going to sand all the pink stuff now. And then another bit of primer and then the, the final top coat. Okay, the painting's finished. Now it's time to assemble it. Now what I've done here, where the steering uh, controller goes, the wood, I've painted the base of it black. And I just put some contact adhesive on it and glued the carpet on there so it looks a bit more uh, neater. And I've also done the same on the floor. So now I'm going to screw it all together. I've painted the base of the seat and the bracket so it looks half decent. And we'll see how she looks assembled and then in the lounge room. Okay, the little bearings in there on the little casters, you can see they're a little bit dry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some of this white lithium grease. Because as you can read on the can, it won't wash off, melt or freeze. So it's not going to make a mess on the carpet or inside the house. Now, so it doesn't go anywhere all over the new paint job. I've made this little skirt up here and just a bit of an envelope and I'm going to spray it right inside there and turn it around and uh, they'll be right. Okay here it is all finished and sitting in its rightful resting place in the middle of the lounge room <laughs> where it belongs. <laughs> Everything's painted, all bolted up the carpet is glued on, the pedals are glued on, the wiring's tucked up out of the way so it doesn't get 
interfered with the pedals, even got carpet on the dash here. Complete with seat adjustment. It's been tested and works really good. Biggest expense was the bolts and about $20 for the carpet. Took a few days to put it together, but it's worth it. And I got rid of some uh, steel tube that I had lying in the shed that I would have just gone to landfill. On to the next project. Thanks for watching. It's been cat approved. <laughs>